Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our blade. Okay, so I have my double-edged blade right here. I have my scissors, and I have my wrist tape. Okay, so what we want to do first is this double-edged blade, uh, obviously, right, each side has a blade. So there's two blades on there. That's why it's double-edged. Importantly about this is that it is flexible. Okay. So we want to have it flexible. What I want to do is just fold it in half like a piece of paper, and that's going to break it in half. Okay. So, and I want to save this for uh, another blade. I think I've, out of one blade, you can make uh, easily four blades, possibly more. Um, what I want to do is I have my blade right here. I want to take that, take this middle piece away. So I'm just going to cut that out, just like this. Okay, so this right here is throwaway. I'm going to toss that, um, and I want my blade here. And what I'll do is I'm just going to cut this right in half. Okay, and I can make two blades here. I could probably make I could probably make a lot more. Okay, so but for beginners, we'll just make two. Okay, so um, as we look at our our tip, the one we didn't cut, we can use that piece right here. Okay. The way I personally like to do it, I like to have an edge, a sharp edge. So I'm just going to take this scissors and cut my blade just down. Okay, just like that. So now I have an edge. So you see the difference there? Okay, so now as I have my... Take my tape. Okay. And since we have two pieces, I'll be able to do that here. Okay, so, and what I want to do is I just want to take this, I just want a little bit of the blade sticking out, fold it over, just like this. Okay, and that's what I want for mine. That's how I like to have mine look like. Supreme would do it differently. Um, or I could take this one. Same thing. Fold it in half. Some people like just very little bit of the blade sticking out. I like having a prominent. In the heat of the battle, I like just looking at this blade and saying, I know what side to cut my head with. Um, and it's that one with the blade. Here it's going to be that side right there. Okay, so we have our two, just like that. We made our blades, just like a shank. Okay, and then now I want to take my tape, um, and I want to just put some wrist tape on. Okay, some people hide their blade other places. Uh, hand wide open, right? Just like that. Okay, I'm going to tape it just like that. Okay, now all I want to do is just take my blade and put it there. And I want a little significant piece sticking out. It's obviously not the blade part. And just like that, okay? Um, if you want, you can go over again. Um, it's your preference, as long as your tape job is pretty good. Um, that should be fine there for me. Um, it shouldn't come off. Um, I usually will tape all the way up to the hand so you won't see this sticking out right there. Uh, but in the heat of the battle, you know, you're getting hit with the chair, you're getting hit with the, uh, the uh, the ring post, whatever the case is, the cage, um, you're able to just put your hand right over here and just pull it out and have it on standby, just like that, okay? Um, and you pull it out right when you're ready to do it, um, so that way you can go ahead and gig without anyone seeing. Um, but see, as I pull it out in the heat of the battle, I like to see that blade right there, okay? Um, once again, if I want to put it back in, um, and I've tested this out, right? So if I bend my hand this way, it's not going to cut me or anything like that. You want to make sure that your blade doesn't cut your own hand. I've seen it happen before. Um, so that's why you want just a little bit to stick out. You don't want the blade to be too much. So that way you could just pull it out. Some people will have um, a backup blade. Okay, you'll learn that the first time that you lose your blade and you're supposed to gig that, hey, put a backup one in, you know, and you probably don't want to put a backup one. You could put a backup one in the same hand. I usually will now put it on the second hand, okay? Hand wide open. Break it. 
open it up, put my blade down, put it right back over. And so now I have my blades. Now obviously I put it up a little bit, uh, my tape all the way up to here, so I can't see that. So depending on how you're going to do it, you can even put it down here uh, so this won't show at all. I like to have it right there on that band. It's right there ready to go. Pull it out. And you got both yours, both your blades. So there you have it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning into my video here. I'm Joey Chaos with Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy. Uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next video.